There were just so many good looks this year at the Met Gala, specifically when it comes to the makeup. Put up a poll over on Instagram and asked you all between four of my favorite makeup looks, which one you would want me to recreate. Surprisingly, the Kylie Jenner look, this one right here, was the one that won and I thought it would be fun if we recreated this on brown skin and not only that, build our own palette using my custom cream makeup. In case if you've ever thought about building your own makeup palette yourself, really cool feature that you can use is our palette builder. Build your own palettes like this. Let's go ahead and put this palette together and then recreate this look. First and foremost, of course, I'm going to use my color match shades which are for my 3D foundation. So this is my big boy palette. This is the one that has my current shades that I have been loving and reaching for the most. Use a pair of tweezers to take out my current tins. So when you get color matched by me, I will usually color match you to a contour shade, depending on what your preferences are, a foundation or main highlight shade, and a brightening concealer or brightening highlight shade. Everything else that I recommend for you in the palette is totally up to you. These are the three that you would actually need to be matched to without choosing those on your own. For bronzer, we're going to use this shade here called Bella Bronzer. It is a super popular one, one that works really, really well because I noticed that she had more of a brownish bronzer going on versus it being like too warm or too cool. For blush, I'm going to mix two different shades because it looked like she had like a bright pink going on. It also kind of looked like a peachy color. So I'm taking Tiger Lily and Madrid. We're going to mix those two together. Put Heat Waves bronzer. I'm going to use that actually as lip liner because I noticed her lip liner was a very warm brown. Taking a little bit of some Boardwalk. We're going to use that as a gloss. I noticed that she did have a little bit of some extra dewiness to the skin, but it didn't really have color to it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Pearl Cream Illuminator. This is almost like a clear highlighter, if you will. So for eyeshadows, she kept it really fresh and really, really warm. I'm going to use some warm tone shadows, starting off with Tangerine, then Holly. And it was a mostly matte look. So I am gonna deepen up the eye look a little bit with cocoa right here. I'm going to take Sabrina, which is a soft shimmer vanilla shade, a black cream liner just to lightly define the eyes because she didn't really have crazy liner going on using this matte skin tone shade. This looks like my personal skin tone. It's called Stay Golden. If you're lighter than my skin tone, it probably is going to look a little bit darker. So just keep that in consideration. Of course, I'm going to use some half lashes because she did not have a full lash moment going on. So I'm going to be using these right here. These are called Joy. They're actually from one of my friends in St. Louis who is a professional makeup artist and she is super talented. These are actually named after her and they're beautiful half lash that I think is just going to really bring this look to life. So let's go ahead and prep our skin, do our brows, and get right into today's look. Now, as far as skin prep goes, I'm going to keep it pretty simple, especially when using cream makeup. So I'm going to start off first hydrating my face with my favorite hydrating mist. Refresh the face and keep it nice and damp so that when you put your skincare products on, it absorbs nicely. I'm going to mix the Road Beauty Peptide Glazing Fluid and the Barrier Restore Cream. I love these two underneath makeup because it gives a beautiful soft glow, but it's not like crazy dewy. Skin was definitely like a natural dew. It wasn't like anything crazy. Mix both of these together, apply it on the face. I'm going to put on a little tiny bit of this Aloe Vera Gel. I love using this underneath my cream makeup because I do have more oily combination skin, so this just helps to control the oil. In my T-zone, it helps the makeup wear a lot better. So if you are someone who's been wanting to try cream makeup, and maybe you're scared, this is my top favorite makeup primer, if you will. I'm gonna let this dry completely, work on my brows, and then I'll be right back. Brows are on, Take a little bit of some eyeshadow primer. Of course, this is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. She is my absolute fave. Some setting powder just to go ahead and set my eye so that it's easier for me to blend out my eyeshadow. So we have our eyeshadow brush right here. This is the one brush that I use. I'm gonna use this brush and this brush for liner. I have everything listed down below for you, including a link to this pre-built palette for you. I'm gonna start off first by taking this shade here called Stay Golden. We're gonna place that all over our eyelid. And this would just even out the base, even out the color and give, you, give us a nice transition base so that every eyeshadow that we put on top will blend like a dream. And we're gonna go into the shade here called Tangerine. Use the tip of the brush to pick up some of that color. I wanna pick quite a bit of this. Start at the center of my eye and really buff this in, in circular motion. So I am being kind of vigorous with it because her eyeshadow 
was very blown out. In order to get that kind of effect, you almost have to be kind of messy with it. Placing that in the outer corner, it's going past my eyeball. Put some of that underneath our lower lash line too. And that's what gives that blown out effect is the circular motions very fast. Crazy, this is the kind of pressure that I'm doing. I'm not like pressing my brush down like this. The shade here called Holly. I'm going to just grab a little bit of that on the side of the brush. And what I love about the formula of this eyeshadow in particular, it is uh, a powder formula. It is super buttery in the sense of like, the eyeshadows just glide on very, very easily, very smooth, builds up very naturally. And I feel like the eyeshadows just kind of blend themselves. So I'm placing that on the outer corner of the eye. And we are going to kind of flick it up a little bit so that we have a little bit of an eye lift moment. Whatever we do to the top, we have to do to the bottom. I'm gonna use a little bit of that shade on the smaller side of the brush and just dust that on across my lower lash line. Use the fluffy side of the brush to go ahead and blend this out. This shade here, called Sabrina, to use an eyeshadow brush just so I have a little more precision. Usually with, with shimmers, I like to just use my fingers, but since she did have it quite high up in her crease, I wanna make sure that I'm able to have control. So this is a Red Aspen E57 brush, which again, I'll have that link down below for you. And we're gonna grab that Sabrina shade. I'm gonna use this to create our base for our eyeshadow. I am bringing this up above my crease and connecting it into where crease shade ended up on our eyelid. And then we're just gonna pat this on. And to really make it pop, we're gonna go back in with our finger and then we're gonna build up the intensity. It's gonna give us more of that metallic shimmer. Since this formula here is a soft shimmer, it's not going to be crazy heavy. It won't enhance any like wrinkles or lines or anything like that. Use the fluffy side of my bright brush to blend the two sides together. I'm gonna to go in to the cream eyeliner and pick it up on this brush right here. This is called the etch brush and we're just going to tight line our lash line. And what I love about this brush in particular is that it really helps me to get nice and close but create like a smudgy kind of lived in eyeliner look. Deepen that up, I'm gonna take that cocoa shade with that same exact brush. We're not even cleaning off anything. We're just gonna use the same brush, tap that right on top and that will help to soften up the liner so that it looks more lived in. And I'll clean up any mistakes with the Red Aspen brush. One thing I did notice about her makeup is that it looked full coverage, but still looked like skin. We're going to use this brush here called the Buff Brush to apply our cream makeup. What I love about this brush is this is gonna give you the most coverage with cream makeup, but still keep the skin looking like skin. I'm gonna start off first by applying my contour, and we're gonna take that contour on the small side of the buff brush, place this right above our cheekbone. She didn't have crazy contour going on. It was very, very natural. Use the tip of the buff brush to go ahead and my nose contour. We're gonna keep that nice and natural again because she didn't have really crazy nose contouring. And I'm gonna just blend that contour into the eyeshadow right in here. I have a pretty round nose right here. I'm just going to create a little diamond shape right here on the tip of my nose. A little tiny bit, main highlight or my foundation shade. And we're gonna use that and add coverage underneath our eyes before using a bright concealer shade underneath here. Also gonna use this to clean up my eye makeup and stamp to add coverage. On my jawline, I'm gonna have the bigger side of the brush. Swipe that along my face right there because I don't really want a lot of coverage on my jawline because I don't really need it. But I will stamp the foundation. I'm going to also do my forehead contour because I forgot to do that. She did have her forehead contour. It looked like it was really bronzer, but it's very, very tight to the hairline. Use my bronzer shade. and Blend that right on top of the contour before I add my blush or anything else. And I'm just stamping that on so that I get full color payoff right on top of the contour on our forehead because the bronzer and the contour kind of mix really well with each other. I'm gonna go into my brightening highlight shade, grab a little tiny bit with the small side of the brush. And again, we're not cleaning anything off, we're just using the same brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around where I have the darkest part of my eye because this will actually help to keep the under eye looking nice and smooth. When I put 
something too light right in here, it's going to actually bring that forward, especially because I am getting older. I am gonna bring my, my brightening highlight pretty low to kind of create that triangle. I'm gonna use the large side of the brush and just stamp everything together that we have so far on our face. You can see how this has given us great coverage on our face, but still looks really nice and like natural. Mix these two blushes. So I'm gonna start off first with the brighter blush, place that towards the back of my cheek, and then go into the lighter blush, and place that on the front of my cheek. What I love about this makeup is that since everything is in one palette, and since it's all cream, I can easily apply everything in one layer, blend it together, and I'm out the door. It makes doing a glam really easily. And then the eyeshadow formula makes using eyeshadows so much easier. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a damp beauty sponge to lightly blend everything together. This is gonna help me pick up any excess product that we might have on our face. Look at all of that excess product. Then I'm gonna go into a powder puff and some loose setting powder, and we're gonna set our makeup. Make sure that our under eye is nice or creaseless before we set the powder puff and this is really where the magic happens this is like my favorite pro makeup artist tip and it's nothing revolutionary it's nothing that hasn't been done before but it just makes the world of a difference because it's now going to create a soft matte look and help me to set my makeup at the same time i need to use this brightening powder palette from alamar cosmetics you don't have to do this step but i want to just because i want to make it a little bit brighter i'm going to use the yellow powder and i'm going to put that underneath my eye. Then grabbing a brush like this, I'm going to use bronzer shade just to really enhance the bronzer on our face. And I just press that right on top. It's almost gonna go into our eyeshadow at the same time. And using the tip of this, to go ahead and grab the deepener shade to deepen up our cheekbone contour just a little bit starting from the back of the hairline into the blush that's going to give us more of a sculpted look with a fluffy brush like this just wipe off any excess powder that we have with the bottom of the perfector sponge and blend in both blushes And just starting from the temple to my way up, we're going to apply that right on top and that's gonna melt any of the powders that was on top and just make the blush kind of have that like skin-like finish. Go into our cream illuminator shade. Strategically place this on the top of my cheekbone Tip of my nose. She had some like kind of on her chin. So it was like intentional high points of her face. Maybe center of the forehead a little bit. Use that hydrating mist to go ahead and melt the powder. This is basically a finishing spray. Finishing sprays will always melt the makeup. You wanna go in with a setting spray, lock in your makeup. We're gonna go in with a lengthening mascara. This is my favorite tubing mascara. And I'm just going to apply that on my eyes. And I'm gonna put some on my lower lashes. Use a uh, brush on lash glue. Okay, we're gonna take some lash tweezers. This is gonna make applying the lashes so much easier. Grab the lash, dry that down for like 30 seconds or so. And then I'm gonna look straight into my mirror. And we're just gonna pop those suckers right here on our outer corner, take my lash tweezer and pinch my real lashes with the falsies. Do is finish the rest of my face and then I'm going to show you my lip combo because that's really going to tie this whole entire look together. I went ahead and did my lips off camera, but I basically took this multitasking brush with a little bit of Heat Waves um, bronzer and I used that to line my lips 
and just kind of really smudged it in there. I went ahead and blurred out the lines with a little bit of Madrid, which was the lip and cheek shade that we used on our face and finished off with a little bit of um, Boardwalk as my lip liner or as my lip gloss. And I'm just gonna top the Cupid's bow with a little bit of that pearl illuminator. I forget how much I love this. I feel like we absolutely nailed this look. Like it definitely is giving like that soft glam. If you want to take this up a notch and make it a little bit more of a soft matte look, just take your powder puff with whatever is left and press the powder. And this is going to get rid of any of the hydration or any of the dewiness that our, that our setting sprays and finishing sprays gave to the skin to create more of an intentional glow to the skin where it's like more on the high points of the face versus it being um, all over the face. I'm absolutely obsessed with this look. Again, if you are wanting the details to this exact or this exact makeup palette, I will have a, a pre-built palette linked down below for you with all of the brushes and everything that I used to get this look. And then if you are wanting your own personalized color match for these three shades right here, I'm going to also list my color match form down below and I will help you choose your best shades. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know what videos to make for you in the future. And make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Let me know what you want to see next down below in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next one.